I'm Samantha Clayton and today's workout is an interval style running workout. But before we get started with the run, I want you to do my five key dynamic warm up moves for 60 seconds each move to get your body ready for the workout ahead. We're gonna break our workout into three different sections. Our first one, you're going to be jogging for three minutes and running for one minute. And you're gonna do that five times. So repeat that first set five times and then you're gonna move on to our second interval, which is a three minute run with a 30 second sprint. So that's your maximum effort for that 30 seconds. And I want you to repeat that second part of our workout five times. The third part of our workout is simply a five minute jog to help your body come back to neutral. The first move for our warm up is hacky sacks and that's to loosen up your hips. Stand with your feet shoulders width apart, lift your foot up so that you can touch your instep, put your foot down and touch the other side. Just keep repeating that for 60 seconds. Our second move is for stretching out the hamstring with a sumo stretch. I want you to stand with your feet hip width apart, squat down and place your hands underneath your toes. I want you to then lift your hips up towards the sky, straightening out your legs, but only straighten as far as is comfortable for you. Our third exercise helps to warm up the spine by adding in some rotation. I want you to step out into a lunge with your right leg and then rotate over to your right side. Alternate sides each time. Our third move is to open up the chest, stretch out the back and the shoulders. We call it I's, Y's and T's. Start out, arms go directly above the head. Second, you take your arms out to the sides to make a Y shape. And then the third time through, arms go directly out to your sides to make a T shape. Our fifth move is a single leg hinge to knee drive to work on ankle mobility, warm up your hamstring and your hip flexors. Stand on one leg, hinge your hips, leg goes behind you, chest goes towards the floor. Coming back up, knee drive goes out in front. To modify this move, tap back. Perform 30 seconds on each leg. Before you get started with today's interval run, just be mindful that pace is an individual thing. Work at your own pace and your own level. Your jog, your run and your personal sprint. Intervals are important so stick to the time allotted because this time has been put together to help you with your running.